Just got a tip, there's no debate. I know a gent that'll set you straight. It's Vinny Vela time. Good fellow who's got what it takes. A New Yorker to make no mistake. It's Vinny Vela time. Tell you who's better than you. Elizabeth Street, Little Italy. Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Stand up guy from the Lower East Side. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. It's Vinny, Velotine. Welcome wherever you are. I am your host, Carissa Clark. Unfortunately, my better half is not here, Mr. Vinny Vela. He's unable to make it. And uh, he is a stand-up guy, wouldn't you agree? So, hey, Vinny, you know I love you. You know I miss you, all right? So take good care of yourself. I have the best show for you. Feel the energy in this room. It is, you know what? And actually, I'm going to even dedicate the show to Vinny because we wish that he was here because it's, I got the Italians in here, right? Hey, I know. Ah, oh, what a Greek. <laughs> so, uh, nonetheless, okay, this is the best show ever. They're a group of guys by the name of Wise Guy Radio, and they come out of New Jersey, and there's like a handful of them, and these insane, crazy, fun personalities. They're here to show us a good time. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to have their band just take it away. Graffiti Cannon. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Graffiti Cannon, that is so cool. Thank you so much, that's a great introduction. So I have just, I have everyone here next to me. Please introduce yourself and just let's get started. All right, um, I'm Freddie the Fireman. Uh, I am a real retired Newark firefighter, 25 wow. years. Newark um, firefighter, yeah, huh? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just retired two years ago and I'm just- Wow, congratulations. Yeah, I bet you are. I know. that. 
You being a Newark fireman, that's another show, another conversation, oh, yeah, another topic. Yeah, yeah, but that's fascinating. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for, for your services. Welcome, of course. Wow. Should I go down the line? Yeah, here? let's go down the line. Right Introduce here me. Here we have our master magician, James Chalice. From hey. The hey! Welcome. Hey. Five years uh, started at the age of 36, so there's no such a thing as you're too old to do, to do anything. You want to do. I He's know. 75 now. No, oh. no. <laughs> I'm not 76. Oh, you age so nicely. You look great. <laughs> Sitting next to James, the magician, Pete, the chicken man from Alcatraz. Oh, oh, this is this is the best one of, one of the interesting characters we have on the show. He is the most biggest animal lover you'll ever meet. Yeah, and really. His job is to. Uh, Get chickens ready for, uh, turkeys ready for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> he makes sure that the animals are treated right before they get slaughtered. Oh, <laughs> I know, that turkey dad. The kiss of death. The kiss of death. The execution of death. <laughs> you got, has anybody ever told you that you look like Tony Danza? Nah. Really? Oh, no. Really? Never? Oh, when I met you, I immediately thought that. Yeah. I met him the other day with Vinny. We were down in Little Italy. But your well, vibe, Tony, your Tony's energy. Yeah, but Tony has a, hey, listen, a bald man. My husband's bald. <laughs> bald is a beautiful thing. Yes. Bald's a beautiful thing. I think you look like Tony Danza. I do. I think he does. His eyebrows. He's kind. See, Tony has a nice energy. You have a nice energy. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna shave my head now. Oh, hey. <laughs> I like your hair, though. No need to do that. Sitting over here in the end is uh, another member of the group, Billy Gagoots. Hi, Billy. Bubblegum gangster, Billy Gagoots. Over here. <laughs> yeah, Billy. Welcome. Hey, Bubblegum. How you doing? How you, How you doing? doing? <laughs> oh. He chews bubblegum. He chews bubblegum all the time. All the time. Yeah. He does bubble bubble gum gum gangster. Normally I wouldn't allow gum on the show, but for you, Billy. Yeah, bubblegum hey, gangster. Hey. You gotta chew gum if you're a bubblegum gangster. <laughs> I, right? It's yes. very, very true. Um, coming later uh, to Nikki Voices. He's a new member of the group. You don't see him. Nikki. Oh, I know. I'm excited. Nikki. Oh, you're cool. Nikki's cool. And, and for some reason, I can't find uh, Johnny Salami, but yeah, he's here. Johnny? Yeah, Johnny? He's supposed to be here. He, we do have to see for Johnny. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. I found the ball. <laughs> Two and a half blocks away. How you doing up there? How are you, everybody? <laughs> this guy's a murderer. This guy is no. And this guy is still living in his house with his mother. So uh, <laughs> let's be honest. How are you, baby? Hi. <laughs> Mother. Holy crap. Oh, I'm over here. I'm in a row. Oh, I'm in a row. I think I'm in a dream. That's why I'm in a row. Oh, Resorts. Maybe Resorts a nice yeah, I robbed. Resorts Casino. I robbed. 100% off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that off. from someone else. Hey, do you normally do your radio show in a robe? I wish I could. I know. Well, I'm in a dream right now. Radio. You know how beautiful you are. Thank you. Holy Am I like an mo- angel that comes down? Yeah, oh, you I look just like that angel. Oh, my goodness. Freddie, what do you think? Yeah, Freddie's girl from Annette here, so yeah, she might come over swinging stuff. Yeah. 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 Also, the talent, <laughs> Annette's the talent coordinator. She's in Annette's the back amazing. Annette's amazing. Yes, great thank great you job. so much. Yeah, she gets all the people for the show. Because we got a, we had Amazing Kreskin on our show. You know who Amazing Kreskin is? For all you old people you out there, Kreskin? this guy is oh, no. old as walls. I swear to God. <laughs> really? And I tell you, nice he hung out balls. with Johnny Carson. He hung out with Johnny Stop Carson. It, really? Yeah. He was on the show 66 times. He, wow. 80, 88 times. 88 times. But I, I, I bet I probably know who he, he is. He used to open up for the Rat Pack. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I, okay, I'm, I'm totally digging the energy and the vibe. And I know that Vinny absolutely appreciate all of you. Uh, so, yeah. but nonetheless, how did y'all meet? How did this happen? How, how are we doing radio? Because your numbers are also through the roof. Yeah. Thank you guys you. are Thank killing you. it. Thank you. Thank Maybe you. one day you'll love me. Come on. Maybe for some lucky. You, you got an opening. Talent oh. coordinator. Oh. You get to the talent okay. coordinator. Get up with her yeah. Yeah. And she loves and steaks and lobsters. Yeah. Steaks and lobsters? I like yeah. steaks and lobsters, too. I do want a special mention our photographer, A&D photography. Thank you so much for coming, too. He takes pictures of little fat kids. <laughs> no, if you see a little fat kid in the crib, he'll take a picture of him. He's good at oh that. And we got a oh, part-time so friend in the back over there, world-renowned part-time musician, friend. Rocco Solano's back here. Hi there, Rocco. Hey, Living Rocco. Legend, Rocco Solano. Uh, it's oh, Jumpin' gosh, Gennaro. So uh, he's an actor. Jumpin' Gennaro. Jumpin' Gennaro. Jumpin Gennaro. He's over I, there. Oh, he's he's a, in a new movie. He's in a new movie called The Brooklyn Banker with Federico Castelluccio. Oh, come on. Yeah. By the way, What a great name, Federico. Federico's a director. His first directing debut. Oh, come on. Okay, well, congratulations. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, oh, that's so great. Good for you. Artie Pasquale, he's here. He's here. That guy's a legend. I know, Artie. That guy's a legend, Artie. I know. Artie, where are you? Artie, welcome to come on. 
I think Artie left. Did he leave? <laughs> yeah. He took a cab home. Uh, Uber. Uber. Artie, well, Artie's a friend of the, the show for sure, yes. you know. So, Artie, we love you, man. Yeah. So, no, real quick, I want to I want to tell Vinny uh, we wish him uh, a speedy recovery. Yes, and, um, absolutely. We love I gotta tell you, um, I Vinny's have a story with Vinny. Hopefully, I could share with him one day about my buddy James who passed away. His buddy. James was on our show. Yes, um, yeah. and I was actually unfortunately James passed away. I'm not, I don't even know the the. Um, the reasoning, I don't know the story. Yeah. Don't want to discuss it now because right. that's totally right, different. Right, right, right. No, no. But nonetheless, um, but there's and a we'll, connection with me and Vinny through yes, James, James, and I just never James got to meet him. I, I just didn't even know. And I drove Vinny in my car to some place. <laughs> it was a place that. <laughs> and you don't like remember? A, Vinny definitely doesn't remember. <laughs> yeah, no, so, he remembers. Hey. He remembers. He remembers. The oh, I love ago. Vinny. <laughs> oh, he's the best. But, uh, so how did the radio? How did radio start for you? Um, Why, this just happened. Well, what happened was we were good friends. I was a very close friend with John Chacha. CRC from from Little Italy. Italy. And, okay. Um, yep. I met him okay. through James and through Focolari, the restaurant that was once there. And uh, Cha Cha and I, we were close, but I was in uh, Jersey. He was in New York, and they did the original Wise Guys show. Oh, uh, okay. With, yes. With Joe yep. Pauzzi, and 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 um, after that broke up, we waited a, a couple years, and uh, we. We well, asked Cha Cha if it would, he would mind if, it, if no, we no. gave it a shot. how you said it. He had to sit down with us. Yes, he had to sit he down with us. He had to sit down with us. We had to buy cannolis at his place. Yes. Of course. The cannolis forget. are fantastic. Yeah. And the coffee, I know the and the coffee yeah. goes, hey, did you tip the guy? He goes, hey, that's how. Yeah. He looked out for the little guy. He was the one. Cha Cha was that. always a guy and, who looked out for the little we, guy. And we asked him if he minded if it would be okay if we carried on our version of what we thought of the Wise Guy show. Mm -hmm. And he was okay with it. And we started on, um, uh, no, not Kaza, uh, I forget the name of the. It was horrible. It was it, horrible it was, it was internet. Horrible. It was internet. Um, Something. Streaming video. Yeah, sure. And um, we did that for a little bit, and then uh, we got a chance to go on to DDV Radio. Um, Danny Deval, a good friend of ours, who let us uh, use his, his studio. He is um, a supporter and a maker of the Police magazines in New Jersey, oh, wow. NJ Blue magazine, and Jersey Firefighter magazine, which wow. I'm uh, uh, well, associate editor. Here. You're gonna get mm -hmm. a kick out. And, and he he let and it's all association with the DDV Radio oh, Studios, and uh, Wait, they have their own shows, police shows, and then we top it off with the wise guys. <laughs> now, <laughs> he, guys he, now we, when we went to see Danny, Danny, and I said, Danny, you got a police show, police show, court show, police show, detective show, oh, and a judge show. Mm. I said, what are you going to, so I said, the wise guy show, right in the middle. Nah. And we blew it out of the yeah, park. Yeah. I know, your numbers are impressive. Because everybody likes gangsters, and everybody, yes. uh, and everybody loves police officers, yes. but they go together. They so, go together. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah, did, yeah. like, where the wise guys meet the cops, you know? Yeah. It was I like, love kind that. Of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we changed the name so a little bit. But the, show, the show's really <laughs> about, this is really what I want to get across so people don't understand. They hear wise guys, they get nervous. Um, I'm also a photographer for an Italian Tribune mag uh, newspaper, and they when they hear mag, the, the Wise Guys show is about bringing people who have become successful and famous back to the neighborhoods and discuss uh, an interview with us where we could give a little knowledge and information to the next person who wants to follow in their footsteps. Yeah. Give us a couple tips. I'm digging you know, that. A De Niro, a Pesci. Why don't you call in our show and 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 you know tell us about how it, what it took for you guys to become where you're at, mm -hmm. and maybe we can help you know people in our neighborhood to help them move Absolutely. forward. Absolutely, well, no it's only about networking it. now. Yes. The yes. only show where you could be a Z-list and come on our show. Yeah. Ah, yeah. And then when you leave, and when you sudden, leave boom, you're boom. an A-list. When you leave that door, you're an A-list. Oh, you're boys. a Z when you came. We had tell, D, tell D Martin's nurse. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Tell about the 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 the. Um, the Oh, you stutter and break it. <laughs> O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson. We had a Listen guy, this. John DeBello, who, who was He's just an actor. actor. We brought him in to talk about his acting career. We went from that to him owning the restaurant in uh, California where um, Ronald Goldman worked. Oh, and my. And before he left to go, you know. Yeah, got, to go no, run no, the errands. He, he, he was doing the wine list. And he goes, I can't go. So he sent this man to his death. That's exactly wow. what happened. So it would have been your buddy and not... Yeah, uh, no, so, but, but what the TV. thing is, we we were in the middle of an interview with an actor, and we are now now we're on the O.J. J. Simpson case, you know. Uh, wow. John DeBello actually testified in the court, and we went from that to that, and it, wow. it just you never know what's going to happen on our show. Wow. And then we get psychics on. Psych oh, that's cool. Yeah. You ever had a reading we, done? Yeah, we get. Oh, we, we break their chops yes, so much, did. eat all their food. They, they eat all their food. <laughs> we shut all the lights off. And yeah. We had a, we had a reading we had done in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we had the duty girl. What's, what's Listen a duty to this. Girl? A duty girl. We had a duty girl. On our I know. What, Freddie's what like right now. He's like, mean? oh my god, I can't believe we got that out. We decided what you wanted to do. I said, well, you should know. She was funny. 
But you know, we have a lot. If We've you, had a lot of guests. We've had uh, Big Ange, like you said, oh, Federico Castro. Big Ange for me for my birthday. Big Ange for me for my birthday. Hey, so Army, what are you doing? Stop I said, it. I'm on the show. Oh, right on the show. On the show on my oh, birthday because it was a Wednesday so night, my cool. birthday. Yeah. I became 50, I know. Go 50? Look. No I way. Can't I know. That's Jergens. Jergens. That lotion works good. It's cheap. It's on shop right because she called in to wish a happy birthday. She did. You know wow. what? She was she was real. <laughs> she was one out of all those people. She you come there. We brought her to um, the Belmont Tavern. It's a place yeah. in Newark. Chicken. Well, Savoy. we did a book signing and a Rita wine Giganti. signing with Rita Giganti and Big Ange. They didn't get along too good. Nah, they got along. Yeah, well, Rita they, was I like mean, this, and because she goes. We done well, a lot. Want. We did a lot of stuff. And we you, we had a Ferrari taker. From yeah. one restaurant to the other restaurant. Oh, that's amazing. Away, really? Red carpet, everything. <laughs> Red carpet. We did it everything. Yeah. He just knows how to do it. That's amazing. We do everything. So you come together on Wednesday nights. Mm -hmm. We're live on TuneIn Radio. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wednesday nights, 8 to 10 p.m. And then, like, our big show tomorrow is a three-hour special. It's our 100th show. So. Oh, my God. You want to get some response? You're going to call in? 100th show. Eric Estrada. Wow. Eric Estrada. Larry wow. Wilcox. Larry Wilcox. Larry Wilcox. He's the white guy on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's the white guy. The blonde hair, like you said. Stop it. Yeah, he and all the people that Eric yeah. and all the people that Eric Estrada sold condos to in Florida, yeah. they're calling in too because they're pissed off. I think they're, Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> they're really mad. Come on. So you just you just kinda of know everything. It's just kinda of like it just snowballs. Is that just what happens? You never yeah. know what happens. Well, I, gotta... I think my life is snowballing. I have you here, yeah. so lucky me. Well listen, when you got Yay. a, a an, an animal list of these guys. Oh, it's here. crazy. I gotta carry like I told him, not not a whip. I gotta carry a big fly swatter, especially for this guy right here. The, he, he he gets into your nerves so bad. He's gonna do a trick right now. I'm hoping you do a trick. I'm gonna do a straight jacket. He's gonna I do a straight jacket. Right. Oh, yes. Straight jacket. Okay. Does, you gonna help me? Yes. Yes. You're gonna help him. Yes. Okay. You gotta right. take that jacket you off though. Strap him in tight. Tight, tight. We're gonna okay. watch this. Am I able to shop in the back, or do I come around here? Usually, guys tie him up. This is the first time for a girl. No, oh my right. goodness. No. Don't no? Go, Chris. Come on, Chris. <laughs> All right. I got a sister. I just got to make sure that she does. She's good. Anything good? Hey, guys, I know he's taking all of his it's personal belongings in his hat. No one take his wallet. Pay? No one take his cell phone. Uh, yeah, okay. The show's almost over. Come on. Hurry up with this. Come on. Make it snappy, snappy. By the way, this is a, a replica of what Harry Houdini used in 1910 when he used to film his movies. He was a movie star for five motion pictures. He did all his own stunts. Hey, uh, Ryan, yeah, that's how, so we little, uh, how do we do this so we can't is get this out? Is this what I think it is? Yeah. It's just the buckles. <laughs> all the way to the end. Put the crazy glue on the sure, buckle there. Make sure you do it All right. the way to the end. Anybody she knows how to do glue? buckles. She got shoes. She puts yeah. yeah. shoes. <laughs> she that knows. is she true. That is true. Thank you so much. But you know what? I do want to make sure it's correct. This is my first time, everyone. Freddie's taking a little bit of time with time over here. All the way to the end. Get the wall. Get the wall. No cheating. All the way to the end. Well, James told me to pay attention because if it's not done right, he could actually die. No, we don't want that Please do it that way. That'd be bad. No, no dying here, please, everyone. Okay, we're going low. Now watch my... Whoa, whoa. Watch. You're going to swing it low? You're going to swing it? Watch my toolbox. Watch my toolbox. Okay, I've time. never done this before. This is a sure. All the way to the end. All the way to the end. A little All the way. Oh, That's good. All the way. Okay, okay we're good. Okay. And then the arm. All the way across. Make sure I go across. Across everything. You gotta put the one around his mouth next. <laughs> That's an apple. That's what he does. I have one big enough to cover his mouth. Yeah. Ming about okay. you're right. Look at the audience getting involved. Done. I totally enjoyed that. that. On this okay. side for the audience. All, all good. All yep, good. Yep, good. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. What do you want us to do? What do I do? Do well, I smack him? Smack him in the head. Kick him down. James, talk to the cameraman. Get Tell him what's going Get on. Whip. Cameraman, you James, see this? Verbal. Wow. Manga, look at this guy. Oh my God. He's used to it because he, he, he said he could his mother wall lives in the same house. Oh. His middle name is Slinky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, we only got another 10 minutes. James Slinky. <laughs> you can do it. Come on, don't, don't make this like orange. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, he got tied up by firemen. Oh, forget up. about that. That's for another show. <laughs> Real fire. Part-time escape You can do it. You have to rub the head in like that. Come on, we got to get Nikki and Boyce's on there. Oh, yeah, they're nice small Don't do that. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we do that again so you can take a break? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. There you go. Come on, chicken man. Come on. Chicken man. Clap, chicken man. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. He's impressed. Excellent. Good job. Mickey. 
Nikki Boy. What's going on, Nikki? Oh, Nikki Boy says, "Come on, buddy." Let me give you the mic. I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. Now you see how the wise guy show is so natural. These guys, they all come together. Now this is Nikki Voices, ladies and gentlemen. Why do they call you Nikki Voices? I get told. Well, they call me Nikki Voices because I do so many voices, my impersonations. I can do Al Pacino. Who are you? All right. I can do. Mr. Walken, you know. If Mr. Walken was here, what do you say about this young lady? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from? I got a mic. Oh Go my gosh. What Whoa. kind of cereal do you like, Mr. Walken? I like Kellogg's, any brand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Reese's Puffs. They make, they make the milk chocolate. Yeah, isn't that great? I want vanilla milk. Oh. What about if you were Schwarzenegger, what kind of cereal? Oh, do I, do, I don't know. I like crunchy cereal. Crunchy <laughs> kind. Anything to gain my muscles. A lot of protein. You need to have the protein. Marshmallows, Lucky Charms, they have protein in it. I like the little, blue, I like the little man on the box. It's very funny. You know what? In your world, I don't know about those leprechauns out of box. You know, uh, I, 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 I prefer uh, Cheerios. You know why? Because. Uh, because they're good for babies, and I'm a baby. <laughs> Being that it's election time, give us a little Trump. Listen, it's going to be great tomorrow. I'm going to win bigly, okay? Bigly. <laughs> okay? It's no longer huge. It's bigly. bigly. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, sorry. Now, let's say something to Vinny, so though. Say something. Hurt. No, he always wanted hey, to meet Vinny. Very well, it's your old friend, Anthony Soprano. Now, you got to get shit. You got to you gotta do better. You got to beat this thing, all right? You got it, guys. I'm here for you. He's got a nasty cold, bro. That's all we got here. There you go. We God got bless you. God bless you. <laughs> I love that. Everything. We got everything. Oh, my God. I got a Two guys who couldn't here. make it. I ain't no rat. <laughs> Two guys that couldn't make it. Uh, Ray the Caterer. Um, Ray the Caterer. He lost money on a nasty bet. Really <laughs> sure. bad. But at the Meadowlands. The he, horse came in he, last. The guy was hitting a horse. The horse turned around and said, what do you want? No one's buying this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we also have a professional wrestler. Andrew Anderson, the reinforcer who couldn't make it tonight. Oh, guys, you're saying someone to come no, in no, here and huge. do something? Yes. Okay. He, how are you, how are he's huge. He's useless, did you just no, say? Huge. Oh, big huge. huge. <laughs> he's huge. Yeah. No, he's wow. huge. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He's got hair like you. Same oh, color. Okay. Yeah, he's got same, about as long same as you. Same as big as the four backs so like So basically, this, my backs. twin didn't make it. He just probably double, triple the size of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At he, least. He called Uber and they said, we have trucks. They go, no, I need tractors. Lincoln's. So this is, right, this is right, what the radio right. show is like. It is just like a whirlwind of hysterics. Yes, yes. Now, I when mean, we get someone on the set, yeah. it's like you ever see a little fly and there's a spider? Yeah. We, 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 we get that. Well, we, 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 like I said, we don't, just, we don't just reach out to, you know, um, we reach out to uh, civil servants like police, fire, people that, because they're still famous in the neighborhood too. Oh, right? sure. Because they don't have to be an actor. But we reach out to every variety no. of, of uh, that. character that we mm -hmm. could find we that made it big in the neighborhoods. And all we ask for them to do is to come back and tell us a little advice to uh, the younger guys, the younger generation, and how they could get started sure. to become their, them. Oh, absolutely. And we've had Bernie inspire. Carrick, Bernie Carrick, Bernard oh, Carrick. Oh, come on. Yeah, he came on. on the show. So wow. we're a reliable show. We've had Lieutenant Colonel Michael Waltz of wow. the uh, Green Berets in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Come on. Went to Afghanistan. Oh, how about yeah. the guy, the rat, that goes into the woods? And, and, uh, he sings like Sinatra. What? I don't even know who you're talking about now. He was at the Orange rat. Festival. I was gonna say, if you have so many guests, you don't no, know. No, we have, we have, we have so many guests. This gentleman was in the military. They called him a rat. Oh, oh, a, a, a tunnel rat. A tunnel rat. Uh, 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 Ronnie Giles. Ronald Giles. 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 Literally, he, they were the military. Yes, he they was were, a Vietnam they were, vet. Vietnam vet. They used to tunnel on the ground. Yes, his oh. job was to go in the tunnel and shoot people. Yes, and, sh and try to find any. Uh, shoot little brown. That's people. just beyond yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah. And Vietnam. Is that crazy? That is We didn't expect it too. When he told us that, he was supposed to sing like Sinatra. So we we said, ah, guy sings like Sinatra. How do you do? Unbelievable. Well, yeah, I mean, he, he's, uh, he's a singer. He does uh, benefits and stuff. Ronald Giles, check him out on Facebook, too. Like, he's, he's a great guy. He's a veteran of the Vietnam War, and he was a tunnel rat, yes. And uh, he's a member. He's also a good friend of this Wise Guy show. And we, find, we find the best talent. Yeah. Like, to jump in Gennaro, you got to hear this guy sing. He will, if he starts just the one verse, he won't stop. So we want to bring him out, but I'm so nervous. You gotta I'm like, show. I got him so nervous. The whole show will be him. <laughs> we had Sabrina Solis on the other day. She sang at the Columbus State Parade. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, Sabrina I was going to say, I called, when I called into your radio show, and thank you so much for inviting me in. Oh, okay. and she CD. sang. You got the CD? And she's gorgeous. <laughs> no, she's, but she sang, and she yeah. did a great job. Oh, she, oh, she, she was, And I really course. liked it. And, you know, I mean, We're the, talk the, about that. Yeah. it's so yeah. interesting because there are so, I've had, we have a lot of singers that are here on the show, and there's very few people that I really kind of, okay, here's my question, okay, rewind. 
when you go live, you do a show or anything, mm -hmm. do you ever feel like you're so into it that you don't always remember what happened? Yeah. 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 That's, that's my point. Show. So for all the singers that we have, there are very few that can really be like, oh, I remember, I remember, I remember, because they're so unique and they're so special and they're so great. Right. And I um, and that particular singer had a really great voice. Like Adele. Yes. Sabrina, she was great. And she was now. lovely, and I really liked her, and Sweet. I was like, wow, she, her vibe, she was really, really cool. She's yeah. fantastic. You know? <laughs> Speaking of singers, I mean, we've had a few of our own. We've had Taylor Dane, oh, Frank stop Jolie, it. Taylor Dane. Judy, Judy Torres, wow. Fascination, Fascination. Uh, Little wow. Susie. Little Susie. Uh, I mean, we, she wasn't that little. Suave, <laughs> Jill Terrell. Well, I mean, Suave was a good guy. Because people the, just don't realize, because I say they're at home, they're watching. You don't necessarily realize the kind of high that you have sometimes when you are excited and you're connected mm -hmm. and you are performing. You know, so look at this. We're already at the end of the show. Can you believe it? We're going to have what? your fantastic no, band that's going to take us out. Oh. Yeah. Right. Can you see what I mean? It can't be that. And you know what? Are you even going to remember this? I Are you going to remember this? I, I don't know if you're going to remember this. Come back. We want to come back. We want to come back. I would love see to have you back. And Vinny will be here. God. And we're going to just, we're going to show Vinny a good time. Come here, my boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. This guy, this is this guy. Just one note. One note. Come here. One note. Get him over here. Okay, turn around and sing quick. Turn around and sing. I said that's life. I told you. And as fun as it may seem, get the microphone over here. Some people get their kicks stomping on a dream, but I don't let it let it get me down. No, not me. Not Cause you. Cause this final world it keeps spinning around. <laughs> I I've been a puppet, a pauper, a pirate, a poet, a poet, and a king. This is for you. <laughs> up and down and over and out, and I know the thing. Each time I find myself playing, <laughs> my face, Here we go. I just Here pick we myself up and get the
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Everybody, everybody, everybody here behind the desk. We're still on TV. Everybody.